Hey kids, are you tired of your dusty crops? All that wind swirling around? You need the shelter belt. In project. August 1933, Roosevelt decided, along with his Forest Service chief, Rob Stewart, that something needed to be done about this dust problem. The headquarters were decided to be located in Lincoln, Nebraska. There were offices in North Dakota, South Dakota, Kansas, Oklahoma, and Texas. The project was proven to improve land, farm life, and employment. It provides habitat, food, and coverage for many wildlife. The first tree was planted on March 19, 1935 in Magnum, Oklahoma. The Civilian Conservation Corps played a significant role in the Shelter Belt Project by collecting seeds, operating tree nurseries, and planting trees. The Shelter trees. Belt Project began with $1 million in startup funding. Scientists found that planting rows of trees prevented dust from blowing around and prevented farmers' soil from blowing away in storms. FDR had a lot of experience as a forester. By the start of World War II, the organization had planted 217 million trees. By the end, 232,212 acres of land were filled with trees surrounding about 30,000 farms. In recent years, there has been little effort to restore dead or removed trees despite the potential wind, wildlife, and electrical and energy economy damage. The planting season in Texas normally ran for about three months, March through May. Farther north in the Dakotas, planting seasons ran from April to June. This has been the Shelter Belt Project. I hope you've been informed.